Hello everybody, welcome back and good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever you are watching this. I know I've got some new subscribers, so to introduce myself, I'm Caitlin, a life and love coach, it's otherwise known as the compatibility coach, and I help people get great relationships with themselves and others, and perhaps work through toxic relationship patterns or dating patterns and find the love that they really want in themselves and romantically. So what I want to talk to you about today is something that's uh, come up a lot with clients, but something that um, I get a lot of messages from Instagram about, um, and it is whether we are too needy and being worried about appearing too needy. And a lot of the time this is linked to um, having an insecure attachment, which I'm not gonna talk about because I've done a very long video on that. But, you know, I think one of the underlying fears with my clients is that by being needy or too needy, usually their very reasonable needs will repel everyone they meet. So it kind of stems from that fear of either being too much or not enough or, you know, too needy we so we sort of put up shut up keep our mouths quiet and squash our needs to fit in with what other people want so we think it's going to give us the best chance at staying in that relationship or getting that relationship um but actually what happens in the effort to appear not to appear too needy we shut our needs down completely and we push people away well fearing that they're going to overwhelm the other person and push them away but actually it can lead us getting into situationships when we actually want a committed relationship or we can people please the extent that we don't know who we are it can lead to months of anxiety where we're on tenter hooks waiting for them to leave if you do express something um, we then get in our head about whether we're self-sabotaging by being too much or too needy or asking them too much um, and on the flip side of that, what can also happen is we can kind of shut down our own needs and the needs of others under the guise of wanting to be completely self-sufficient. You know, we use that independence as a badge of honour um, and we avoid conflict, we avoid emotional conversations and vulnerability through not getting too close and putting those walls up. However, more often than not, that sometimes comes from a fear that actually somebody won't be able to meet our needs so it feels safer. So either way, you know, trying to shut our needs off out of fear and self-protection or because simply, you know, that we don't know where they are, it can lead to a bit of a breakdown in communication, connection and create a one-sided relationship. So truthfully, you know, we all have needs. We all need to feel respected and valued and cared for. So rather than either trying to get rid of your needs or, you know, worrying if they're too much, it's about taking them seriously. Um, it's about kind of, you know, actually showing up as an adult and thinking, what is the best, what do I need here that's going to allow me to grow, to create a healthy, happy relationship and to kind of demonstrate that I love myself. So there are three ways we can start to take our needs seriously. Um, but before we get on to that, I also want to say, you know, Nobody is too needy in the sense that their needs are valid because there's something there that they feel isn't being met. And of course, I'll teach you in coaching. The first point of call is to look actually whether this is a need that you can fulfill yourself. And actually, if it is about the other person, how we can communicate that. So it's not about being too needy. But sometimes, if I'm brutally honest, we do need to learn how to communicate them differently. Um, and we do need to learn how to look after ourselves. So three ways that we can start doing this is number one, really actually get to know what your needs are. Think about what you need to feel happy, secure, loved, what you need in a partner, um, what you need in yourself to feel safe. You know, really do some exploring because a lot of time we actually don't know. And then we're expecting somebody else to fulfill all of our needs without actually giving it the time and the space to know what we what what we would need from the other person, what we would need from ourselves. People aren't mind readers, so really do get to know them. Number two is look at how you're communicating based on what I've just said that, you know, remember the point here is not 
about controlling somebody else and their behaviour and their thoughts and what they're willing to do. It's not about trying to control the outcome or somebody's behaviour. That's not our right. It's not our right really to say, I need you to do this because otherwise I'm going to this. It's not about having a kind of, it's not about entering into a sort of threatening dynamic where we're trying to manipulate or push or cajole to get an outcome we want. It is about being able to communicate what we truly need to be happy when dating and in a relationship and communicate that with love from a place of security and not from a place of defensiveness or, or it being a battle, it's about having an honest conversation. Um, and that is a skill that we have to learn actually how to communicate without those aspects. And that's something I work on a lot with clients. So if you're not there, please don't worry, it's completely normal. Number three, um, this is going to hit home. But if you want to start taking your needs seriously, then you actually need to think about who you are dating or in a relationship with. Because you want to be building a relationship with somebody who is kind and willing to work with you on what you need. Not, a, not everybody is going to be able to meet your needs. Not everybody is going to be kind and willing to go there. Um, you know, if you are in a position where you feel like it's going to be shut down constantly or they are shut down constantly, then actually it might be worth reconsidering who you are going for. You know, why are you with somebody um, that makes it okay for you to feel that you're not valid that your needs aren't valid um where did you learn that's what love was so it is really about getting to know them looking at how you communicate them and actually looking at who you're communicating them to and whether they're the right person to do that with so hope that helps bit of a i feel like i went in a lot of different tangents there but a video on whether you are too needy and how to start to take your own needs seriously and three things you can do to help with that. And please rate, subscribe and comment. As always, love your comments, love your questions. And you can reach me at my website, which is www.thecompatibilitycoach.uk and I will link that in the notes.